Jessica. The New York Times recently wrote an article about electronic cleansing brushes for your faces. And I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for me to post a review about the electronic brush that I use to uh, clean my face. Now there are many of them out there. You go into the pharmacy and they have some lower end uh, brushes right there that you can purchase. There are some that are purchased at Sephora and other department stores. So I want to tell you about mine. I use Clarisonic. Clarisonic now has five brushes on their line. They range from their Clarisonic Mia, which is sold for about $119, all the way up to the Clarisonic Plus, which is over $200. The Clarisonic Plus has different speeds. It's meant to be used on the face and you can use it on your body. The Clarisonic Classic does the same as well. Um, I personally own the Clarisonic Mia. I bought this uh, over a year ago, maybe even two. Um, this was $150 at the time that I purchased it. Now it's on sale for $119. It only has one speed and it its brush revolves and vibrates and it does it for one minute. So for that one minute you place it on each part of your skin and this will give you a very deep cleanse. It buffs your skin, removes some of that dead skin cells and all of that grime that you pick up during the day. I love, love, love this tool. As I mentioned, it's the smallest one they have. It's meant to um, be something that introduces you to the line and also uh, something that you can take with you when you're traveling because it's that compact. The company also sells several varied replacement heads. You can, buy them, you can buy them individually on their website or in packs of two at department stores and Sephora, Macy's, Bloomingdale's. Um, they, as I mentioned, are varied. They come from normal, they go from normal skin to dry skin to acne prone skin to um, all of, to even body. They sell a special, uh, bristle head for body. I had acne when I was a teenager and it got so bad that I went on Accutane. Now I'm not recommending that people go on Accutane. I think everyone should do research and choose the best option that fits them. Um, Accutane, I took it for six months and it completely cured me of acne. Um, but it is a very, very strong medication. There are lots of things that you have to do just to be able to go on the drug. When I became pregnant, the acne problem resurfaced because of the hormones, and it was very unfortunate. I loved being pregnant. I loved every moment of it except for those few episodes of morning sickness, um, but the acne was a problem, and it's very unfortunate because you can't do anything about it. When you're pregnant, you can only take Tylenol and that's it. So I couldn't take any oral medication for the acne. I couldn't even use any sort of topical cream or strong cleansing soap because of the ingredients in it. Anything that you put on your skin can be absorbed through your pores and into your blood system and it could affect the baby so you don't want to do that. So I couldn't do absolutely anything about it except cover up with makeup and because I am so into makeup I did a good job of covering up. People mostly didn't notice. It was very visible to me but most people didn't notice. And now that I'm no longer breastfeeding, I'm back on oral contraceptives, and that helped a little, but it's still I still continue to have breakouts. So I went to my dermatologist, and they gave me some antibiotics and some topical creams, and that has helped a lot. But one of the other things that they really recommended was the Clarisonic brush, and I already had it, I've been using it, but what happens to a lot of people who have acne is that they overdo it on their skin with cleansers and toners and medication and then scrubs and then tools like Clarisonic to brush away and it's just too much. Um, it takes away your natural oils and because you don't have much of it, your skin produces even more oil. And so it's just a back and forth and it doesn't help. So you have to go to a dermatologist and listen to what they tell you because they are experts. They're dermatologists for a reason. So they know what they're talking about. And what my dermatologist told me, and 
my esthetician said the same thing was that I was overdoing it with all the stuff that I was putting on my face. The cleansers, the scrubs, the Clarisonic, it was too much. So I'm taking my antibiotics every day. I have um, creams that I use some on some every morning, some I alternate. And then the Clarisonic, I only use it about two to three times a week, um, mostly after uh, I wear makeup, just to make sure that I get all of that stuff off my skin. Now, I know it can be a hassle to clean your makeup when you come home on a late night, you've been out, and you just want to go to bed, but you have to clean your face. Just think about the pimple that was sure enough resurface the next day if you don't clean your makeup off. So please do it. Now, investing in a Clarisonic is a big step. Um, I know that a lot of people can't afford to just put $150 down on something like this. So if you are looking for a cheaper alternative, then I can recommend Sigma's cleansing brush. It costs just $39. And although I don't personally own one, I have friends who do and they love it. They, their brush comes with three um, bristle heads um, in soft, medium, and firm. The soft one is for everyday use. The medium is the same um, and it should be used when you take off, when you're taking off makeup, that's good. And then the firm one is more for the body. So I love that, that you can use it both for your face and your body. And again, it's only $39. Um, and it's, um, like I said, I don't own one personally, but I have friends who do and they love it. And I, again, I love that it all comes in that. The Clarisonic just comes with the brush that it comes with. And if you want to buy additional brush heads, that's at an extra cost. Um, but the Clarisonic comes with all three bristle heads um, for the face for the, and for the body. And the face comes in soft if, you're, um, if you have sensitive skin. And then the medium if you are trying to get rid of makeup or just need a little stronger bristle head. Um, so I can recommend those both. Those are very good. And I'll link... Sigma's website on the bottom so you can use that link to go directly to the site and purchase your very own Sigma cleansing electronic cleansing brush and I'll also link to Clarisonic so you can look at their um, brushes as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're well. Remember to subscribe. I have plenty of videos coming up and a few giveaways. Take care.